So in the previous video, we made the basic moving cam mechanism. And now what we're going to do is look at some ideas uh, for motion. And um, when I think about the cams, because the motion is sort of a gentle up and down motion, it makes you think about, well, I think about the sea. So the waves on the ocean move up and down. And of course, boats bob around on the ocean. So it might be a great one for creating a scene where you've got a ship. Or maybe it's not a scene, maybe it's um, a great white shark coming up out of the ocean and you've got a little boat there and you're sitting in the boat when the shark pops up. So it can be an amusing scene. There are all sorts of possibilities for what you can do. And it doesn't have to be the ocean. It can be absolutely anything. And I did mention the trampoline. So there's a little trampolina there. And uh, when we turn it, it's a strange angle I know, but it'll be jumps like that. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but this one moves a lot more than the previous one in the uh, earlier video. And there's a good reason for that. You see, when you look at the design of something, you've got to say, well, are you happy with the amount of motion that you've created? And in this case, I wasn't. And that's because the pivot was in a different place in the previous video. So what I've done is I've just experimented and I've said, well, if the pivot in that position gave a small amount of motion, if I change the pivot position, will it alter the amount of motion? And yes, it does. So what I've done is pop that out, drill a new hole with the pencil, pop in the pivot in the new position and now that the pivot is nearer the cam the amount of motion is much greater well that's much better for our sea scene because it be a, could, could be a really rough sea so what I want to do now is take some card I don't think the trampoline is part of this so we'll take them off can you see I've, at the end of the tube there I've just flattened that off by putting some tape around it sometimes it's useful to do that I think with the um, the C scene, it might not be so useful. So I'll just cut the tape back off. There it is, and open the tube out. And uh, I've started to, to experiment with, well, what, what size um, ship would I like? So I've decided that the base of the ship should be about the same length as the paper tube. There it is. And we could easily sticky tape that on there. Now we could take a little cut out of there, look. And you see what that's for? That's just to rest against the pivot there. And the idea there is it simply allows you to get more sticky tape on here and at the back in order to fix it on rather than it sitting just right on the top like that. So sometimes you get away with that, other times it's a bit more difficult. So we could simply sticky tape that on there. Now you don't want lots of tape all over the place because it, it might be seen uh, in, the, in the actual, uh, when the thing operates. So you don't want that to be seen. You might want to end up sort of maybe trying to find a different way to do it. I don't know if a glue stick might be able to do this, but what we don't want is everybody to be able to see lots of big bits of sticky tape all over the place. And the more sticky tape you have, the more you'll find the, um, the mechanism might get clogged up because sticky tape is terrible for catching on things. So around the back, nobody's going to see it. So that's a good place to put it. All right, let's just check that. So there's our ship. There's the cam. It's never going to be in the right place. So I'm tilting it back. And of course, that's not the way in which this works. But it's just about working there and creating a reasonable amount of motion. Well, it doesn't look good though, does it? Because there isn't any C. So then you experiment with cutting the appropriate color of card. Now, if I was to just put the C there like that, well, I don't want to see this pivot and I'd see the end of the cam as well. So you've got to think what size has the scenery got to be? Sometimes you create background scenery as well, which might be sort of waves of a different color or the sky or whatever. So think about the scenery and I've come up with this. So it's a bigger piece of card and 
the back part is where the block rests. And when we're finished, we shouldn't be able to see all of those uh, parts that you don't want to. And when you view it from the side like that, which is where you should view it, you can't see them. So that's what we're after. And then when the scene operates, very difficult for me to sort of hold the whole thing in one go, the ship goes up and down, and then hopefully you don't see the paper tube. What you might want to do as well is take a different shade of blue look and put a little row of waves along the bottom. Where's it going? A little row of waves along the bottom. And then, this is perhaps too big. There's another one. And then that helps hide, that helps hide any of the sticky tape. And of course you've got that technique where you take the tape double it over, double it back on itself again and make it sticky on both sides and then you could say well there we are. If I did find that this little piece of extra sort of wave scenery was suitable then I could stick it on there and hopefully nobody would know when the ship comes up. Let's try and get the ship to come up. Nobody would know. I was that awkward to try and sort of hold the whole thing in this plane. So the ship's going up and down. You get the idea. You might have to add little bits and pieces to cover up any of the parts that you do see when the ship comes up out of the water, depending on how high it comes. So it's over to you, really. That's just one idea, and of course the simple little trampoliner before he was another idea. Uh, you've got to come up with your own ideas for these novelty scenes or toys. Maybe think about a sport or a hobby or a pastime or a TV programme you're interested in where certain action happens. Can you recreate that action with your simple cam? Over to you now then. Best of luck.